Hello everyone, good afternoon. So as part of the learning journey in the supply chain challenge with Singapore Logistics Association and Singapore Land Authority, Joe Works, we have jointly organized this webinar on OneMap API workshops for you to better understand and appreciate the usage of OneMap. So here with us today, we have Kairos as well as Shiva, who are the OneMap managers. And after this uh, webinar, you can actually submit your questions using the Q&A chat box inside Zoom, and we'll be taking the questions uh, at the last 10 minutes of the webinar. So without further ado, I'd like to invite Kairos and Shiva to bring us through the usage of OneMap. Thank you. Hi. Hi everyone. My name is Kairos. I'm from uh, OneMap, uh, the OneMap team. So uh, behind, behind, I'm uh, managing the back end and the infra and the security aspects as well as the application. So uh, without further ado, I will proceed my presentation. And uh, what is OneMap? OneMap is the WOG mapping platform that deliver the geospatial information to, to public sector and pri private sector. So uh, the history a bit of OneMap is uh, in March 2010, this, the OneMap 1.0 is born, was born then uh, in October 2017. So this is the current OneMap that you see, that, that you use, uh, or, or in the onemap.gov.sg and we recently last year uh, September we launched the onemap 3.0 which is the onemap 3D and uh, it is a first major initiative of Singapore National Spatial Data Infrastructure Project. Okay so now I'm going to pass on uh, pass to Shiva who's doing the Android and I will do the web portal demo. Shiva, please. Sorry, I muted myself. Hi guys, my name is Shiva and I am currently the developer for OneMap Android app as well as uh, the backend API developer. So uh, let me share the screen for Android app first. Uh, I hope all of you are able to see the screen. Okay, I'll just start off with how you can download the application. Just go to uh, Play Store, uh, download with uh, One Map Singapore. Once you type in, you will get a few results. The first one should be One Map, so you can conveniently install into uh, your Android phones. And after installation and clicking on for the right app, uh, permissions, especially turning on the, the um, your GPS uh, settings, which you will ask for. So once you have turned on these permissions, you can easily start using the application. Uh, I'll start off with the first screen. The first screen is what you probably see once upon installation. It will bring you to the current location where you are currently to the center of the screen. Uh, so based on this location, there are many more functionalities that you can use, which is available to you by clicking on this menu button that you can see at the bottom, uh, bottom center such as land query, school query, property query, room query, um, and as well as nearby first, uh, services or functionalities. Uh, based on the application, maybe we can start off by searching a certain uh, location. So we could make use of postal codes. So over here, I am searching by a postal code. So this selection of uh, uh, search results that you're get, getting is based on POIs, uh, streets, uh, may not necessarily be commercial business names, but uh, it's, uh, most of the addresses are easily searchable. With the location that's given to you, 
There are some details that's further elaborated in the bottom, which you can close the info button and proceed to use any of the applications. So with the more upcoming events example, could be the P1 registration for parents. Uh, they could make use of this school query button Sorry for my uh, connection. Okay. Uh, so, so there's some further instructions that's given to you. For example, you know, if you wish to find out whether you're applicable for any of the schools, surrounding schools, maybe you can click, press and hold. To get the number of schools uh, that maybe your kid is qualified to enter. Uh, it even shows you the schools by the distances, whether it's within one or two kilometers. And if you further click on the school, you might be able to get uh, some more information such as the addresses. And you can also share it with your friends. Just by clicking on the back button, you should be able to bring you back to the screen where you left off. Um, this is just one of the functions in school query. You can also find uh, that uh, you, let's say you own a drone and you want to know whether, um, which are the areas that's permissible to fly the drone. Well, you have all of these information that's given to you. You can further zoom in to get uh, uh, some information on what are these areas that are being highlighted that's probably not allowed to uh, fly your drone. There's also recently we made some changes to the design where we have allocated all of our miscellaneous uh, functions to the top top corner of this uh, screen, as you can see. So more of the recent times, we added the list of clinics that you may visit based on a location. So example, let me type another postal code. If the postal code entered, and then I wish to know which are the nearby clinics that I can visit in case of you know, having a fever or possible symptoms for COVID. Uh, these are all of the clinics that uh, I am eligible, I can actually go on to visit. So by clicking on this particular clinic, I may even get further results such as the addresses and even the mobile number to this. Next, I would like to uh, maybe do a little demo on um, how do we use the routing functions on one map? So example would be clicking on this router. Okay, so actually I'm in the current location. Maybe I'll, I'll change my location to, uh, let's say I wish to travel from, so you can see the list of results when I change my, uh, origins of travel to my destination. So these are all of the possible commutes that I can take to work or whatever places I wish to visit. So if you click on one possible uh, travel journey, it outlines for you on how you should be traveling to each and every point. You can also click similar to Google. If you click further onto the map, you can see all of the lines similar to travel, Google Maps, where you can see each leg of each of the destination, which is quite convenient as well. And furthermore, we can also view example, um, if you're done with your journey or maybe you're standing at, uh, over at a, a place and you wish to know the bus, you wish to explore the bus timings you can also click on the available bus stops on the map to get um, 
the timings where which is which bus might arrive earlier. And also there's a refresh button in case you know you're wondering, hey, is the driver here yet? So uh for some of the users, they might be wondering, maybe they are located, they are standing at a, a building and they want to get further information. There's also an option for you to uh, hold on to a destination and find out more information about the current location. So for example, it could be Boogies. Just wanted to know some information on this. You can actually do reverse geocoding as well. Yep. Uh, I've also uh, be also covering maybe for example um, there is also a nearby functionalities so maybe given a location I wish to find some amenities like for example a location of a money changer example so you can see there are quite a few that's populated for me which you can further zoom in and take a look at some of the information that's over here okay um yeah there's plenty more functionalities for you to explore um on the map and um, in the android app as well so we really really appreciate it when users um give us feedbacks on what work what's working and what feature is possibly very useful for them so i think i'll end myself over here and uh, pass the baton to uh, kairos Hi, Kiva, you uh, okay, you end the sharing radio. Okay, let me share my screen. Guys, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, so this is our one map portal, the web portal. So basically, right, uh, we recently changed our domain name from onemap.sg to onemap.gov.sg. So if you type like, for example, onemap.sg, uh, onemap.sg will be direct to uh, this page. So uh, just how Shiva already demoed the Android. So web portal is behaving the similar way. So basically like you can search in the search bar, like for example, Amokyo, then you will come out. So this is using the one map search function. So the search API. So like for example, I click on one of the search results so I can drill down to the uh, location. Okay. So basically uh, right now you can see this is a block uh, 348 over here. Then uh, that this is a long address, then this is a let long, then this is all the information on the left panel. Then if I want to like, for example, right now I, I pinpoint of over here, so I can able to see the vaccination center throughout the Singapore. So here is got three, three, uh, three location. So I can zoom in to, to see more. So you can see what is the vaccine available, then what is here available, etc. Then for COVID-19 test provider, so this is throughout the whole Singapore, nearby parts that you can download. Then uh, essential amenities, so this is uh, all these four hot button, uh, including this PBC, PHPC, is uh, supporting the COVID uh, initiative. So you can able to trigger, uh, toggle more stuff over here. This is through one, uh, through one kilometer radius. So uh, then PCB, PHPC is just like one, one layer from from the essential so essential you have a uh, more thematic layers or well, school query is a uh, initiate uh, is a collaboration with uh, moe so we are the authentic the authority data from moe uh, 
information. So basically, this is a primary school. Uh, recently, we last uh last month we did to have like the the re the release of the primary school uh, primary one registration for the for the uh for p1 res uh, reservation i mean res, res <laughs> p1 sign up for the p1 for the 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 parents so for example just now the location is over here so this is like the red color is one kilometers away then the the blue color is the two kilometers away and this is a buildings find the new building near the school like for example i want to find i am okay primary school so this is the whole lot of i'm okay primary school so we were rent you will render the JSON file. So because right now the payload is quite a bit a lot. So okay, because my internet connection are in the room, so the internet connection is not so steady. The uh, mission same thing. So land query is for you to know what is the the uh, uh, land information through the port of land or parcel so basically you can able to know what is the information over here i think my connection has some issue uh, okay Sorry about that. Okay, I reconnected my connection. So let me share my screen. Okay, so now it's better, I guess. So, so right now, yeah, right now it's faster already. So, uh, so back to land query. So, for example, I want to draw a marker to know what is this piece of land. I can click on view that long so it should be, it tell me the mk number and what is the ownership this is private okay let me move my marker okay this is like the ownership is sla singapore land authority this is the mk number this is a good thing for the uh, people who are interested in buying the parcel the land parcel then they can do the tenure search as well. And drone query, you can see this polygon highlighted is no fly zone. And we have more stuff over here like traffic query, property query, population query is a addition, is a another website that bring you to uh, query all the population information so we also have an api supporting that this is with a collaboration project with a department of statistics so you can feel free to play around with it and nearby is all the facility amenities we call it as a thematic layers so basically you can this is a similar stuff that what Shiva has been presenting uh, earlier. So like, for example, I can able to go to my, uh, let me see, okay, Hawker Center. Like for example, at this point, I can able to see what is the nearest Hawker Center, let's try. Then we also have the Bus Explorer. Recently, Woodlands area have 
uh, you know, Woodlands bus interchange is integrated, right? So we also updated like uh, LTA data to make it as, you know, uh, to allow people to navigate. So basically I zoom in, zoom out, right? The bus stop, it will auto refresh over here. If I move a pen around, so you will see updated. So if I go to here, I can click this is all the, this is the bus stop that service in the pet temporary. Then the main interchange will have this list of uh, station. I mean bus service. So you can see this is already, you can see uh, Woodlands, the integrated interchange have uh, some is like uh, already arriving similarly. Then if I click on one of the bus service, you can see the route from Woodlands to Singkang and to Aukang. So basically, you can able to click on this one. It will tell you where is the bus uh, transit to the next bus service. And have the base map for you to change like for example this is the format you are seeing and click on the original you can see original is quite uh, useful for property agent because of the color scheme you will see like uh, residential is this orange industrial is you will see this this color then common one you will see this this thing then temple, then we'll see all the color coded. The hospital is one color. So we have gray, we have night. This is the landlord parcel that you see in the landlord query. It is all over Singapore and we have satellite as well. And we have contour map, URA map for you to overlay. So I, for example, I want to overlay with URA with, uh, I mean, 2019 URA map. This base map is by from URA. Then I can click on this button to choose default. I can do like overlay. So this is a uh, basically base map. So for you, you are you might wondering what's behind this thing. Okay. If for this, like for example, I let me switch back to the base map. <clears throat> so basically, if I zoom in, I right click on the building or a place. View let long is using reverse geo code API. And uh, if I click on you know nearby team, it will pop up the nearby. So you also have an API called thematic layers. We also have like, for example, you can print, but it's not API. So I can able to click on the navigate. So from BT center to here, basically it's just near, near nearby each other. So if I move uh, up for a bit, so you can see this is walking around. Transit will take a PT, uh, public transport, or even walking. So if I move, this marker throughout another area. So it will definitely give you the walking and with bus. <clears throat> so this is a nearer bus for you to reach that. <clears throat> or you can able to walk totally free. So you can toggle to through a PT, that means transit or bus mode. Transit, that means bus and MRT or bus only or car that you can add destination and or walk or cycle. Cycle will ask the user to go to the safer route or a PCM. So right now, this is because of this canal here have the PCM, but this one have overhead speech, which because the, the passenger, I mean, the person is at another side. So it will be like this side is another, unless, the cyclists go to the opposite side, then you then stay in this lane. But you need to cross over here, this is called PCM. 
but here is the bridge can't allow you to go out. So it asks the cyclist to go to smaller road and yet you can't able to cycle through the expressway because uh, for, for safety reason as well as like LTA safety policy for cyclists. If I move this thing to elsewhere, you will see the cyclists will go to PCN. You say because here you have the PCN. So that is about one map web portal. So let me explain the API side. So let me go back to my PowerPoint. I will give you, I will explain module by module. So, so design of one map is uh, we adopt WGS84, which is used by Google uh, and uh, OpenStreetMap. So uh, we practice microservices, which is like, for example, one service is down and another service is still running. So it's not totally those traditional system that once one application down, everything down. So we also have the uh, mindset of using open source. So what you see in the web portal and mobile app, we are using, we are built from scratch using open source. So there's no proprietary license and there's a community support. So we believe that uh, if you design your web application or a web service uh, in your own, just remember, don't copy and paste blindly. Please check your code and, uh, and practice those secure coding and uh, coding practices and proper use state of one API. And this is the links that you guys may be interested. So registration for the one map and uh, documentation, I will show you later. And uh, the swagger, which is you can test out the one map API on the fly in the browser, or you can you can also interested to visit our GitHub. There's a lot of example like iOS application example, uh, Android example, as well as the web based uh, JS example with HTML. So to register a one map uh, account, you have like, uh, there's a no token and token API. So this API for token, right? You need, you require to register. So I will tell you what is token and non-token consists of. So all those API, one map API token lifespan is three days. Why not one week, no, why not one month or even one year because of security reason. So if let's say like, for example, uh, security reason as, as well as performance. So if let's say I uh, touch wood, one map being like uh, there's a hacker or people uh, leak some information or their application have issue, uh, security issue that leak their API token or whatsoever. If let's say it's forever, we need to flush out all the user to force them to authenticate again, which is very tedious. We have over six, uh, five to 6,000 API accounts they under one map uh, and why not like one month is also quite long. Why not one week? If let's say it's one week, you also have like some issue for caching. So we prefer 72 hours of purge cache as well as a renewal of uh, API because of like, for example, uh, you let's say you your application unauthorized or i mean can like your token expired you can straight away use manual authenticate or uh using our module in the git github for you to like uh check the the interval then it will help you to re-authenticate so i will tell you i will show you what is this about so basically let me 
Oh, I forget to show, show you the PowerPoint I see. Okay, uh, so uh, let me show you the information over here. So over here in the GitHub page, you will see this is for Mac, this is for Windows, this is for uh, Linux, 32 bit and 64 bit. Uh, Mac is all 64 bit. So basically, if like for example you are running Windows, you click on here, so you can download this uh this uh Git project. So basically, uh, ESC already you just run the ESC. You want to have a uh, modify the source code by all means. This is the ours. We using GoLang, so this is the source code. You can tweak. Is using a Unix timestamp for the checking for the uh, uh the expiry, so you can, so in the credential text, you just enter your username and password, then after that you just save it and execute it, the uh, dot exe, then you will get the token, this very long token, then you can able to use to use on your application. So basically, if you didn't authorize or didn't uh, confirm your account, you will get you are not authorized user. So uh, same thing as a Linux and, and a Mac user. So Linux user, you can see it's the same thing, just that uh, it's a binary. This is the binary. So it's the same thing that where you enter. So sorry about, I didn't show my slide earlier. Let me show you my slide. I don't think you, you miss much of the slide. So just now I explained this one, WJ84 microservices and open source. This is uh, what we believe. So make sure you are, you have a secure coding, best practices, and proper use of API. And this link uh, is over this one, is in this .stop.wm.org page. Then you can see all the links over here that are stated over here. And uh, I show you the documentation link. So in this documentation link, if you enter one mat, uh, uh, this docs dot one mat dot sg, then you will redirect over here. So you can see like all the information, like for example, uh, create a free account for you to register the one mat page, see the sign up. Then this is like for example you can go to our swagger this is the page okay then if you want to go to like for example uh, just on the github right the github you can see like over the helper library github you can click on this github repo over here then you also can see we also have a community forum for you to talk about your technical stuff. So that is the links. Let me share the PowerPoint slide again. Okay, so best practices you can, as I say, uh, you can take a look at the GitHub for the module. Then by caching your uh, API token, and check for the time expiry between 50 to 70 hours for, for re-authenticate. So uh, for addition best practices, right? For example, you are using IIS uh, Windows. So basically you need to hide, hide this. If you're use, using our module, right? Uh, this authentication module, right? Better hide uh, this, this uh, authentication layer from your main application don't let people see your credential okay so after you getting the the string result then you pass to your main application so this is what i say 
uh, majority reason you will you didn't uh activate your account so you will have like you are not an authorized user so if you have uh, this issue please contact us in the generic email one map at slagov.sg or you can join our discussion forum at discuss.onemap.sg you can uh, say you have issue but we encourage you guys to to uh, contact us instead because it because some of the user don't really know about the security reason because they straight away put their email address in the the this discussion forum everybody know the email contact already so to prevent to to have a private privacy please uh, send us the email so we can able to like respond to that email so uh recently we have a registration and a password uh, changes so we we did enhance about the you know because we have uh, some capture issue as well so uh this one we will have like uh shiva will take a look of like uh we'll continue resolve the issue that we user may have faced if you have like difficulty in registration please drop us the generic email and uh, say and then just uh give us the email address that you want to register so we can able to use the system to to temporarily create a password for you then uh, randomly generated then you can use then once it's done you can able to update or change your password in in the reset password form so recently changes we have uh this is the last year uh information so uh basically we didn't have much of an update of the endpoint to to our api user because this is very transparent but the changes we will always update like what is the update changes through our technical workshop and about the need the end user to be aware like the implementation being changed those those very heavily impact so like uh we have revamped our health status page that you can see those api is working or not then uh we also have the uh, replacement of our tms uh, those uh, th these tms wmts or wms service through a uh, map proxy as a services so uh for security wise we this is what one map has already implemented one map has a dms ddos emit, uh, mitigation service that prevent people to like uh keep on spamming their per minute request so if you have like a so a slow request to your application please drop an email to us and like uh what what you are facing if you are like launching your application or your service for a short time period you can also drop us an email like temporary buff your request and uh because we need to prevent those people who are pretty abuse one map uh, api because one map api is free because a lot of people is like uh trying some people trying to 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 abuse the system like uh maybe bots crawling or data scrapping this one we also have the lookout for data over usage of api per user per account so uh with ip address of course so we also have a uh, protection uh sss cross-site scripting uh c surf etc and uh one map also have a uh, enhance SSL security to com to comply with government policy so uh because of one map uh, change to gov right gov.sg our main web portal change from ov to ev cert. but however our api hasn't converted because api is like not a is a committee level it's not really uh need to change to gov.sg as the developers 
So we also uh, comply with uh, HT, HSTS uh, restriction. So both side of both application need to have a handshake to, to, to uh, get the, the service to go through. If let's say your application not don't have a cert, if a self sign still bare, still okay, but it's better to have a full handshake recognized CA certification. If you want to have CA, you can feel free to use a free, let's encrypt the free SSL to your application for your mobile app or your web app. So right now we are minimally using TLS 1.2. Next time this year, uh, we will change to 1.3 uh, minimum, which is a lot of legacy system can't able to recognize our APIs already. So we, uh, so we, we always like catch up the security trend. So when we announce 1.3, please uh, check in our change log in the website as well. So this one will impact a lot of user. So uh, let's come to the main uh, category of this API workshop. So let's tell, uh, let's create a scenario for, for this workshop. Like for example, just imagine you are a, a grab a company or send your your services to 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 parents to fetch their kids to kindergarten etc so we will use this uh this scenario like you are a school service a good shuttle service that send their kids to from point a to point b from the hdb to kindergarten so okay so what is it uh those non-token services these three components is a uh, non-token services, which is search, uh, uh, co co <coughs> co coordinator, uh, converters, and uh, static map. So what is it? So search, right? This is what you see in our Android and our web portal. So you type something, you're able to like recognize what's the result. You can either type partially address or a postal code. So what we what our search involve uh, uh, consists of address, bus stop numbers, POI and postal code. So you can try it as swagger. So let me move to the swagger part. Uh, let me switch to my Chrome. Oh, my Chrome, I close it. Okay, let me launch my Chrome again. Sorry for my background because of like, uh, it's starting to rain soon. Okay, let me switch to this Chrome, this API. So if you click on the swagger, so you bring to this page. So over here, let's try the search. You can click on try out. Let me switch the zoom panel. So basically we have like a search value. So I can put a revenue house. I can able to like, you know, execute. So you can see the result, number three found, page one. So this is like uh, IRAS, this is the main building. So you have to pick, then this is a DBS uh, ATM. So basically you have to pick the correct one to display. So uh, it's better for you to like uh, allow the user to select because they have more than one POI. So like, for example, I want to go to uh, search for AMOQ. I just put AMOQ, right? There's a lot of results. So you need to predefine what is your search value. So you can see have 1000 plus result. So you can able to get the length long, 
to port your information on the map. So this is the this is the search. So for the reverse show code, I will explain later. Let's go back to the slide. Okay, so let's talk about API token. So API token, we have, we allow 250 API call per minute. So we can, then you can able to access over 100 over plus uh, API endpoint, including the thematic layer, which is consists of like close to 60 to 70 endpoints. So you can check about the documentation page. Uh, if you want to have more API, call that I mentioned earlier, just contact to the uh, generic email and just say about your use case and why you want to increase. So subjected, uh, subjected for approval, not we won't approve uh, uh, everyone. So it's like, for example, based by case by case basis, if you are launching a product, we will temporarily increase and later on decrease after your event is over. So uh, how to get API token? So you have to register first. Then after that, you can use these three applications to, to get your API token, which is a postman, swagger for test. You can for a uh, development testing and you can able to use the authentication to get the token. So I will tell you how I able to get the token. So basically just now I already run the swagger or whatsoever. So I can give you the example that I show you over here. Uh, let me open uh, uh, to the source code. So this long thing is I after I get the token, I can paste here. This is a sample uh, available in the GitHub. So after that, I can able to get the clinic. But right now, I don't want to get a clinic. I get a kindergarten. So basically, I save it. Let me show on the Chrome. Let me show on the Chrome. So if you get the proper token you can able to see the the king okay, i think it's loaded let me try is it my connection let's see you can do real 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 time debugging oh method not allowed or oh, is again. Okay, this one I think the token is expired already. So basically, if you do the correct one, then you can able to see over there. Okay, Shiva, you give me a new token. The method not allowed. So basically. If you want to see the map, right? This is the map that you can get example. Okay, this one working. This is a preschool one. So if you pass in the correct one, I mean the, the token one, you can able to it. So Okay, let me try again. Let me copy this config again. Let me move my panel again. Okay, let me copy. Let me paste to the kindergarten. I guess it's different token. Maybe so, it's different token. Okay, let me refresh the kindergarten again. Guess you can't see my notepad. I think I should share the entire screen, right? Okay. So basically, uh, let me refresh. I think token is okay already. Yep. 
So this is all the kindergarten around the the lat long, which is over here. Let me show you. So you have you can specify the lat long, the location, the zoom level. This is the lat. Uh, so basically, this object passed through here. Uh, this is the entire base map lah. So you can put a lat long and one. Just, I can change to two. I refresh. Then you can get more. You can change to five to get five kilometers away. Okay. So, so this is the kindergarten part. I can, this is a thematic layer. So I can able to change the thematic layers that if you you want to know what is the thematic layer that consists of let me do go to my swagger again so you can scroll down uh, you can go to like teams you can able to get all teams you can able to see what thematic layers is available so you just copy the the name, the query name over there in, in, in the example, or you can tr call through the API, which is behind the scene is calling this endpoint. Then you can able to get the query name over here. So like, for example, I paste it, just now what I got, let me able, let me take some of the information over here. Let me choose elderly care. Let me paste over here and uh, execute. So you can see in real time. So these are the information through the whole Singapore, but you can feel free to narrow the search down to the extent like for example uh why is the this extent is let long extent if you want to do like uh what uh like one kilometer away or this thing we use turf js later we'll explain so we virtual code is next uh we'll explain to you next but i will show you how i call in this uh swagger let me minimize this. Okay, reverse show code. Okay, reverse show code is here. Yep. So over here, I click on try out. This is the default. I can pick. Oh yeah. Okay, to copy my token. Get my token again that I paste over here. Let me paste here. So I just anyhow put the I use the default. This is the default Singapore Centroy. So this is a new time primary school. If I change a bit, right? If you know that if you change play a bit of the let long right you will change a, a bit right so this is how i change okay this is out of the zone let me change back i think too much never mind let me try this thing if not i get from the web our one map api to copy and paste i think cannot get it so uh, let me go to let me see what i can able to get from here let me choose this one i can able to copy uh, i can able to copy this that long over here put a comma okay we have comma let me try execute zip that building there Right, so this is how it works. Yeah. 
So if you move a bit right, the let long change, the number change. So this is a precision. Okay, so uh, let me get back to my slide. So we talk, we talk about the virtual code already. So what virtual code consists of building road segment and other feature like pond, uh, parks, reservoir, etc. So this one we done the demo. So thematic layer, I also show you a bit, right? So basically, just now the the, the what I did, uh, just now the elderly care as well as a kindergarten. So you can able to able to call. So for example, kindergarten, you can able to like uh put the query name over there. Then after that, you can able to get the the result. So imagine you want to send your riders to certain which district or planning zone. So you can feel free to use this uh, population API. So our uh, population API is here. So you can able to see the, the API. Let me minimize again. So you can see, you will see the planning area over here. So you can use the planning area API, or you can use population query API, which is consists of all the ethics, like the age group, get industry, uh, get uh, occupation, etc. Okay, like for example, I want to get a planning a of maybe all planning area. Let's try. Let me see. I, Again, I forget to let me copy here. Let me paste here. Oh, this one you can predefine. Like what is the year? We have a 2019 one. So this is like Simpang. This is all the let long. That's a lot, right? So it's very hard for you to like type wrongly or whatever so just use API so this is like different southern uh, island so so this is all the planning area throughout Singapore if you want to have one of them you can able to get this planning area put the that long for example I put the token I put a let 1.3 long 3.8 I can execute yeah Queenstown belong to Queenstown the new town primary school so uh population query like for example I will get like um occupation wise I can put like 2010, like for example. Oh, this time need to put like uh, list of planning area. You can see the name of list of planning area over there. So let me get Simpang one. <coughs> oh, no data available. I think this one. I think no papers leave there. And is it case sensitive? Let me try. I think it will be easier. One. It's not all API has the information. Let me see which one. Where's the age group? I think this one has 
things should have now. can see over here so this is 2010 let me go to 2014 so the number will change okay, 2014 not every year have. if you see over our our operation query like some is using the previous branding area, as you can see over here. Not every year is using, so you will see the planning area is using a master plan. So if I move here, so this should be using 2014. Yeah, 2014 one. But every this thing is different so you can able to like for example click on page so you can able to see the other steps so you can able to like print out subzone or whether non subzone So uh, we are planning to revamp this population query once again because uh, people are feedbacking the, this interface is like very slow. Okay, so basically you, this is uh, the DOS data. Next routing. Routings you can able to like, uh, as mentioned in the web portal, right? Uh, you can able to get the PT, the bus and uh, transit mode, which is a transit mode consists of like uh, bus stop and I mean bus service and MRT service, then as well as bus only and also have drive then cycling and walks because for this scenario we are sending the kids to kindergarten so you can use the drive so you can able to get like the current date, date time then with the your token then from from the from which is a start parameter the end parameter for the let long so you can able to get in the information so if let's say I click on this one. Let me. Yeah, yeah. cannot download. Sometimes PowerPoint cannot be able to digest what we are doing. So over here, I can over show you the example because this one is already predefined. So let me put as drive, put to gun. So this I put as this one, you know, you choose if let's say is a, a PT. It's not, it's not PT, you don't need to change this thing or whatever. So this is the time it's using 24 hours clock. Uh, so basically, current date is better to use like current timing or date. So for example, right now I put as this one. So you can always use like your your application current time get time or whatever. So like now I want to plan my hours. So if you see this bracket. The example should be below, like like this one. So I put as plan at five thirty. So can execute. So rat found because this is a start pair of let long. This is a let, then the end there is a let long. So we we'll tell you where to go from Jurong 
thing because there's a journey information tell you where is it about. So they, there's a two return of the result. So basically, I our let long run tell you this is from what point to another point. So we have a route to uh geometry for you to de uh to decode it. Later, I'll show you how to decode it. So this one you just pass into our API with virtual code to able to get the full address. Okay. okay so basically, on, so this is how to decode. So basically you can able to use the Node.js or the sample code over here. I will show you in the website. Like for example, you go to here, we go to routing, go to the decode. So we have a sample code, Java decoder and Android decoder and iOS decoder. So you just uh, load your payload, then able to like uh, decode your geometry to tell you the line. So for example, you want to use Google one also can. So Google polyline decoder. So you can able to find this one, or you can able to find other people who do the decoding. So this is the 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 um uh, Google one. So right now I just paste my payload over here to decode. So let me copy the result over here. So let me copy, I paste it here, I decode. So this is information. Okay. So you can use any kind of library to decode the polyline. <clears throat> so every point right is like turn left, turn right, or whatever that you see the instruction of the result. So uh next one you can also use static map to tell you what is the payment. I mean the the location, like you know, uh the destination, the fare, or whatever. So this is a static map you can able to generate through API or our um what you call is it this yeah. right. so you can able to generate through api or using the uh, ui so basically i can able to do like that so if i want to change something i can able to change like for example let me modify i can change the location I can generate then okay, you become above. You can able to like copy paste, copy this URL, and I paste it. This is a whole uh picture to this endpoint, or you can use API to generate as well. So if you go to <clears throat> the route, you will see static map over here. You can able to use the Best is to use post method. You can specify the the type of the layer that long poster zoom level width or height. Basically, this like color scheme or whatever line or polygon points is uh, similar to just on what you see in here in the uh, <coughs> In, in the information that you see over here. So next, uh, more tools for you is the mini map, advanced mini map and static map. Just on the creator that I will show you the static map. So mini map is interactive and advanced mini map you can, is also interactive that you can see, you can use for, uh, with, uh, with uh, for the, let long so in minimap i can show you over over here 
So these are revenues, our SLA HQ. So I can able to like, for example, type something ABC. Then I can able to like, maybe I can delete everything ABC. Then you say is here, like your company name is here uh, in revenue house like that. Then you can able to like preview map. Then you know, we will go over here. You can embed through iframe. You can able to get the hyperlink to embed also. So if I use a hyperlink, you can see over here, this is show the whole one map in the one screen. Then you can click on this blue color view on one map. You can bring you to a one map page. Like this, okay? So next, you can, uh, for advanced mini, advanced mini map is similar to map. Uh, both of them you can able to pan around. So I can able to add like a, a move I can choose one of the location. I can able to like change the icon. I can able to enable a pop up. I say ABC here. I create. I can move to another one. I put as uh, Merlion. I can able to choose like over here for music. I can put SYZ. I can do enable marker to marker routing using PT or bus only or whatsoever. You can use this one to create. So you can see this is really marked. So I can able to like, for example, let me try to change to driving because we are doing the driving demo. So you can able to like, able to get the information. Let me, let me get this one. This one may have some bug. Yeah, because of the correction block. Oh, because of the, oh, this is not, this is not related. Okay, nothing is blocked. If I if you take note of this one, maybe ask the uh, our collecting home to troubleshoot. But it should have the the route over here. I think it's because of like right now peak hour, a lot of people use the routing. So you can able to like play around, go over here, change the the zoom level. The map is fine. Okay. This one you can play around at your free time also. So uh mini map, I explain already. Advanced mini map already explained. Static map already explained. So other helper libraries you can able to see. So basically this one is what we use for developing our one map. So leaflet is the for the base map. You can draw, do the drawing called leaflet draw. So uh this is S3 uh leaflet. So omnivoy is for data conversion. We use TurkJS for advanced spatial analysis. Then you can also can use an uh, open layer for more advanced uh spatial for the base map and so if, uh, for turf years, you can able to do like distance based of uh, to, to compare the distance between distance from and two coordinates. Like for example, this one, you can change to uh, kilometers. By default, it's kilometers. Yeah, I can tell you what, how, how far it is. 
okay you can feel free to explore if you have any doubt you can con contact the turf community okay So, so we are coming to the end of here. So uh, base map, okay, later I'll show you this one. Okay, base map, you can able to choose like default night, gray or, or, or original or landlord. So for example, this is the default. You can see night, change to the night one, gray one, etc. Et if you scroll down, you will see the usage. You can straight away copy this one and paste. We are highly recommended using this one. If I'm using the latest uh, leaflet JS, please put our attribution in, on your map. So uh, because we are for this one, right? We are using our own coded uh, leaflet JS that I show you in a demo. So all the classes there, all classes really can able to define. So we write the classes. So you can able to use for others like open layer, top JSON for mobile, TMS for others, uh, geospatial application, uh, top JSON also for uh, mobile. So here's an example. So uh, for the API health check, you can see everything is available. Yeah, so you can go to this website called uh, state you can go to developers dot one metal actually which is slash status or status dot one metal actually will redirect to this page so we can see the the health of this thing so you always refresh every five minutes or oh, this timing in 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 m in na so we have to change the time zone. Because recently we revamped this thing. Uh, let me change over here. So we have a discussion forum. So over here, uh, you can see uh, we have the discussion forum over here. So you have any question related to technical uh, one map stuff, you can post your track by sign, sign up, then you can see over here you can share your development also like for example uh, your code wrapper or whatever then we also will reply you you can ask question other community will help you or you want to really relate to SRA you can drop there or you can able to like e email us to the general email So the page is discuss dot one metal SG. And uh, lastly, this is a contact us. You can drop me an email uh, for the over here. You can do generic email as well, as well as the discussion forum over here. So uh, right now I'm doing the QA. If you have any question, you can straight write the QA in the box. So yeah, I will hand over to Pei San. Oh, while we're waiting for the QA. Feel free to say some question before we do the closing. Any question? Well, this group, no question, is it? No question, is it? Hi, 
everyone. So I think if there's no questions, uh, we can end the webinar here. So thank you so much, Kairos and Shiva for sharing about OneMap. So if you have any other questions, you can feel free to drop an email to the OneMap team and then they can get back to you with any other questions that you might have. Okay, thank you so much and have a good weekend.